So uh, basically, this uh, very sh uh, short chapter. So I I think in a <laughs> in the next fifteen minutes or so we might be done. You know, <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's chapter seven. It looks at uh, workflow code style. Uh, the learning objectives are uh, introduce the most important points of uh, tidy, tidy, tidyverse style guide, um, and and also like a good coding style is, is synonymous to correct punctuation in in writing. It makes uh, it easy to comprehend uh, what what uh, you have written. Um, styling your code would feel a bit tedious uh, in the beginning, but uh, if you practice it, it 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 will soon become second nature, which is I think uh, um, uh, applies to everything. You know, uh, Lawrence. Uh, um this guy's uh, style uh styler package is a is a is a good place to start from i i know you you you're already familiar with this um like to install the package uh that is how we do it like how we install packages and it's an easy way to use uh it uh, via the ice uh, our studio studio uh command palette which uh we could just use this command and then it will pop up and then we can type uh the the styler and and so that's it. Basically, that's the the, the overview. Um, like, if you have any questions or any comments, you you feel free. You know, because um, yeah, if you have any comments, yeah. So the uh, the second section of the the first section of the book looks at uh, uh, this chapter looks at names, and I think we have already covered this on on the naming how to name. So. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think we have already covered this, but but basically it's uh it's uh, uh reminding us that uh you know uh, uh, we should use the assigned symbol instead of using the 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 uh, the equal sign. Yeah. And and and, and um um either either of those either the the one the, the variable name that we use uh, we created using the the assigned symbol or the mutate uh, symbol. We we should use uh, lowercase letters instead of uh, uppercase letters, numbers, and also underscores. Um, and and we could also use underscores to separate uh, the elements in our in our name. So it gives an example of uh, an ideal name that we should strive to use. And um, we should avoid something like this, like uh, the, the 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 second one. Uh, prefer long uh, prefer long descriptive names than uh, short ones. Of course, uh, short ones will save you a lot of time, but uh, it might uh, be confusing at some point, especially if your project is uh, interconnected. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, what about what yeah. about using um, um, what do they call it? Is it camel case or snake case, for example? Oh. Ah. Oh, we have it here. Short flight. Okay. Um, this short flight is yeah. called is it snake case or something like that? Um, ah. Yeah. Something like. Oh, that. I've 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 not I've never heard of that. You know. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, yeah. So they have like uh, you know different names to give this kind of naming, like camel case, um, yeah. snake case, or something like that. Um, I have seen it like in one of the Hardly Weekends book, um, the style uh, book, something like that. But that's fine. I thought like they mentioned it here, but they haven't. Yeah, okay. no, they haven't mentioned it in in the in this, okay. in this place. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And, and and they also stress the point of being consistent. You know, with the with the naming style you are using. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. They, they, they mentioned being consistent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. And now they look at uh, the spacing. I think here, when I was preparing the, the slides, I had uh, I got a bit lost here, but the- What the, happened? The, yeah, you know, I I mean, I, I, I didn't assign the values to like, I didn't assign this A, B and D. I thought it would just come automatically. <laughs> for, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I was just, I was just uh, in a, uh, I mean, I so, so yeah, then it was like, it was telling me that A is not, uh, there is no value like A, no, no value like B. I was like, but, but I think this should, have, this should have been automatic, you know, because it's working fine <laughs> <laughs> in the book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. So, so basically what he's, he's trying to say, if we use any of the mathematical operators with the exception of the, 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 the raised to symbol, like uh, we should uh, like have a, a uh, a space uh, like uh, uh, we should we should have a space uh, um, after it something like this or yeah something like this on 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 either sides of mathematical operators like we we try to put uh, space with the exception of the raised to symbol so we give an example 
like here, and also the, the assigned operator, we try to give a space in both sides of the assigned operator. And he said, uh, like, uh, this is the ideal state we want to have, and we should avoid something like this. Although this will work, but it, 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 it makes the code, it, it, it doesn't make it easy to read the code and follow along. Yeah, but it, it will still work. And uh, don't put a space inside or outside parentheses for regular function calls. Um, yeah, something like this, you know, when we call the, 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 the mean uh, function, he's like, uh, we should not put a space like, like here, we should not do this. Like, we should not do this. But instead, we should do this. We should do this instead. And it's, it, it's, it's uh, okay to add extra spaces uh, to improve the uh, alignments, like, like yes. here, like here. Mm -hmm. The extra spaces we are adding so that this equals this uh, equals to all the three equal to signs could uh, align. He said uh, that's also okay. fine. Like here, mm -hmm. the speed we add a lot of extra space so that mm -hmm. everything will align. You know, it's like uh, this is also fine. Yeah. It makes it makes it easy to just uh, skim through the code and yeah. know or oh, that speed yeah. is this. Um, deep hour is defined by this, and uh, deep minute is also this. Uh, yeah, so it's like this is also fine. Yeah. And that's it. We are good. Uh, like it brings by, back the, the the pipes operator. Pipe. I, I think mm -hmm. yeah. I think we've seen this in when Ahmad. I think Ahmad presented a chapter on on this. Yes. Yeah, and then he talked about the new this new symbol, the okay. pipe uh, operator, and uh, should always uh, have a space uh, before it, and uh, should typically have should typically be the last thing on the line, basically. Uh, so like uh, when we introduce the pipe. Like before introducing the pipe, we should have like at least a step, a space like 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 before the pipe, and it should we should strive to make sure that it's the last last thing on the line, which uh, mm. uh, yeah, which uh, makes it uh, sort of make 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 the whole readability of the code uh, much easier. Like here, we had a space uh, between the 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 flight and the flights and and pipe, and then pipe is the last thing, and then we drop down. Um, the filter comes, and then we have here pipe again, and then the 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 the, the count function. So it's okay. like we should avoid we should avoid something like this. Okay. Where cool. we where we jump pack everything at one line. Yeah, but this will, yeah, yeah, this it, this will this will work. Yeah, but yeah, we should we should avoid it. Yeah, it doesn't even look good, right? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. You don't even know what this guy is trying to do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but look, you can see the first one. You know, you first use the filter function, and then you um, remove, uh, try to remove NS or something like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try to remove NS, and then you count. After you remove NS, you uh, count uh, the decks. Yeah, something like. But here, it's difficult to follow along. It's like everything is mm -hmm. jump back in one line. That's right. Yeah, if the function you are uh, piping into has a name argument like like the mutate or the summarize, put each uh, argument in a new line. Yeah, mm. like 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 here, it it is like uh, if the function doesn't have the, the name arguments like select filter, uh, keep everything on one line unless um, okay. it doesn't fit well. In which mm. case, uh, you could put each argument on its own line. So so basically, what he's saying, like you know. Um, we have like uh, the the if like if we have the mutate uh, or or the summarize functions and 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 things like that, it's better to especially the summarize and the mutate. It's better to put uh, the the arguments in 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 separate lines. Okay. Yeah, you know we could have just put a delay inside and the n is equals yeah. to. We yeah. could have just put yeah. everything on one line, but he's saying that you know it's better to have them all on a mm -hmm. separate line like this. It looks even more better. Much yeah, better. yeah, yeah. To and, and to avoid something like this. Okay. To avoid something like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and it's still stressing that uh, same point. Yeah. So after the first step of the pipe, also the indentation is like we should indent. Ah, okay. Yeah, like we should. But I, I, I think line. I think this this R Studio does it automatically. I think. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when you after the first pipe, when you just um, enter, uh, enter, it percent. does it, it yeah, it okay. does the indentation for you automatically. Yeah. Okay, so, I see. Yeah, actually, it does that automatically. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and, and the space here, like is like we avoid, let's avoid something like that. Should put like at least mm -hmm. some space between the, the flight and the and the pipe. Okay. okay. Yeah. And and it's 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 okay to shirk like to deviate from this uh, rule sometimes, depending on your case. Like here, um is arguing that you know, I mean this could be fine. Like even though you know this is contrary to all the style that we have been discussing thus far, but he's saying that this could be fine, you know, like this. And uh, of, of course, this is the preferred uh, thing we should do. And with this, it's easier to add uh, new arguments to the mutate uh, uh, function. But he's like, this um, is also this is also fine. Yeah. So yeah, if we call yeah. that. Styler, it will automatically style our code to this uh, beta style, right? If we wrote it in this wrong, on you know the uh, style that is not unwanted. If we call styler, it yeah. will automatically align one to be in the desired format. Is that correct? Uh, no, I've, I've not tried that, but I, I think that's interesting. I, I, yeah, I, I think that that is what the stylers would do. Okay, Wait, just continue. We will try that one. Yeah, yeah, I think that is what the stylers should do. Yeah. Uh, and and also it's like trying to limit the the uh, try to limit your pipe around the lines between the pipe. We try to limit them at least to between ten to fifteen. Mm. Yeah, not like not more than ideally between like at least less than ten would be better. Okay. Uh, also try to break them um, up uh, into smaller sub tags, giving each tag an informative name, sort of within the pipe just mm. to, to make it easy for you to really when you come back to your code you can easily uh catch along something like that okay yeah so uh, uh the style with uh, ggplot i basically it's uh the same basic rules that apply to uh, the pipe also apply to ggplot too mm -hmm. uh, just uh, treat the plus the same as you will treat the the pipe operator and and, and basically that's it like the the, okay. the the rules that we apply for the the, the pipe operator is saying that we should just uh, apply those same rules to the plus, mm -hmm. like give a space here, and 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 that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think for the for the 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 ggplot to the pipe operator and the and the plus operator will have the same um, styling um, um, for the uh, system and. Um, again, if you uh, you can fit uh, all the arguments uh, to a function uh, onto a single line, put each argument mm -hmm. on its own line, like uh, like like we 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 discussed on the previous uh, subsection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like uh, we try to put each argument on a single line, even though uh, all this could have like uh, in the geom function uh, geom smooth, we could have put all this. We could have just have method. Uh, equals to losses comma and then span equals to zero point five comma. We could have all tried uh, try to put all this in one line and it will work. But it's like um, it's it's better to put each of them in a, a separate line. Okay. Yeah, better to put each of and and also we before the plus we have the space like we did with the pipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 now we have the subsection in like comments and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. To separate sections, I, I think this is very useful, especially when your 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 code gets uh, really long. Yeah, you'll want to yeah you'll want to have subheadings, and it will make it easy to read the uh, the, the script and 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 understand what you are trying to do. That's the, right. Uh, yeah, and the keyboard shortcut is uh, that's the uh, the keyboard shortcut. Yeah. Okay. Command plus shift plus R. Yeah. Command plus shift plus. Yeah, and, and basically, I think that's it. You know, uh, I think I, I hand over to you if you have any, like, uh, actually, at that point, you were talking about the, the styler, you know. I think that was ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Let me share my screen so that we can. Sure, see sure, it, sure. Right? Sure. Mm -hmm. sure. Right. Yeah. So, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah. Right. So, um, Um, here there are some plugin, yeah. Um, add-ins. So yeah. here I I think I already installed the styler. Yeah. Can you see the styler? Um, styler. You know, styler. Yeah, yeah. Styler. Yeah. So 
Um, you see, I think in the beginning of the chapter, um, there is the, uh, you can install the styler. Pip is, oh, I say pip, Python. Uh, 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 install the package styler. When you install it, you will be able to see it here in add-ins. So add-ins allow you to do some kind of, you know, quick stuff. But yeah. um, the RStudio now has, if you do control P, it has something like this and whether you can type the command you want. So let's assume now here, I put this one, you can see I put it in single line yeah. and I want the styler to change this one to the, you know, uh, desired format style that uh, we yeah. want. So all yeah. you need is if you want to highlight, um, you know, style all your file, you can do, yeah. but you can even highlight some selected section. So let me highlight this one. I yeah. want to select, uh, highlight uh, highlight uh, this. So if I do control P, Styler, uh, go Styler. So you can yeah. see Styler. Uh, style Active File. It will, you know, style everything in this file. Oh. Style style Active Package. If you are working on a package, it will style all the package. But yeah. um, um, Style Selection, it will style only this code that I, I like. Right? Oh, yeah. So when I write the, I click Style Selection, yeah look at it oh that's that's amazing you know <laughs> oh that's amazing you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, that's amazing so you see like um it really you know uh, um you know it um you know uh do the yeah, styling it, it, so, yeah it, it saves you a lot of time you know <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah it saves you a lot of time <laughs> so if you want to style the whole stuff um you know uh you can select styler um style Active file, it means all the file will be styled. So I can say style active file. So you can see it now style everything in the file, you know, uh, yeah. something like that. So yeah. that's um, um, styler. Um, maybe you can try to install it and, you know, try it so, so that you can. You yeah, know, yeah, um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can see it here. This is styler. So we can say uh, install. Oh, you can come here, like, you know, uh, yeah, at, the, at, the, at, at the beginning of the uh, the, the, the chapter, I run it. Yeah, install package. You can come here, yes, install, and you know, um, you can install it. Install it. Oh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So today the <laughs> the session is very uh the chapter is very. Yeah, uh, it's very you short. Know. You know, <laughs> it's very short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how do you find it? Like now. Do you think you learn a lot by presenting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I learned a lot because uh, previously I just came through the material. I was like, oh, I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think I can, I can do stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, we are doing, we are doing. You know, um, if somebody presented, he would tell definitely. Ah, yeah, um, yeah. I, know, I think, I think, I think I'll try to do uh, extra more presentations. I think. Yes, because uh, you yeah. know, it's it's different when you want to present. You will go still learn it totally. Rather yeah. than just skimming through, you know, because you are not presented, you learn more when you are presented. So that's yeah. it. Yeah, so I, mean, I guess this, this Git, GitHub and all that, you know, this is the first time I'm using it. So it was. Oh, it was really? Interesting. Yeah, I've not used this stuff before. It's not like I know this. <laughs> I just, ah. just followed through the, the, the instruction that you shared in, uh, you know, I, I then I, I was able okay. to yeah, manage with it. I, I think it, I, I found it really interesting. Ah. Yeah. I found it really yeah. Interesting. So. Don't don't bother about so like now you are doing then one day uh, before we finish you will see that you find become an expert on this but only the thing I say is just keep practicing um have you tried the this week practice as I say yeah 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 I I I checked the the the, the Saturday Tuesday it was uh, quite interesting me, uh, quite I didn't interesting. even I I didn't practice it um so maybe uh I will present it next week. Because yeah. this week I was so busy, so yeah. Um, yeah. you know, next week um, after so this week nobody has signed the presentation for the next chapter. So I think definitely I will present the next chapter and I yeah, will yeah. Present... I think next chapter there is going to be someone who had uh, volunteered. If you check this, um, the, 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 the seat. Oh, okay. Somebody volunteered. Yeah, it seems like uh, someone has already given there, ah. but I can I can confirm this. Yeah, yeah it seems me... like. Someone, yeah, yeah, I think, uh, uh, yeah, on the, on the, next week is going to be on the third. Data import. So we have yeah. somebody um, additional, but um, no one has, you know, um, um, you know, um, okay, let's see whether he will, 
Uh, but let's let me be on the back of because yeah 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 to be on the back of yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah because um, he has not uh, been here so i can just be a backup so that yeah. we can see what we have. Okay. yeah i'll see you either in next two weeks maybe i will take one of them yeah i think I'll. yeah sure yeah yeah uh, uh, maybe to... we have an, we have yeah. another one exploratory data analysis maybe you will enjoy it yeah maybe i'll try that one yeah i'll try that yeah one. yeah okay yeah. cool so yeah. if you are happy with that, you can write your name. And yeah. yeah, yeah. Hopefully by next week I'll see my schedule and then I'll just write my name. Okay. Yeah. So thank you, um, Abdul. Um, yeah, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. you. See you next week. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.